HDSLR Shooter's coverage of NAB 2011 is brought to you by Kessler, Asden Microphones, Red Rock Micro, Digital Anarchy, and Adobe. There are so many things to see at NAV, it's almost impossible to see them all. It's good to have a plan before going listing all the must-see items that are the most important to you. And for me, this included one of the most demanded pieces of production gear today. The Philip Bloom Signature Series Pocket Dolly from Kessler. Once we arrived at the Kessler booth, I finally got a chance to play with the Pocket Dolly and found it to be everything people said it was. Elegant, smooth, and precise. What I didn't expect to find was a brand new product that totally blew me away. It's so new it doesn't even have a name yet, but it's Kessler's latest motion control system. Hi, this is Clint with HDSLR Shooter. We're here with Eric Kessler of Kessler, and he has a brand new product here that is really exciting uh, that I've actually never seen the like of it. Uh, and I'll just let Eric take it from here. So uh, tell us a little bit about what you got here. Sure, okay, this is our new keyframe uh, style of motion control. You just grab these different slider bars to move the uh, device into its position that you want to set a keyframe from. Once you do that, you just simply hit record keyframe. I have a bunch recorded on here. Uh, we also have uh, focus motors on there so you can pull focus at each keyframe. Once you do that, you just hit uh, rapid to home. It'll move into the first keyframe position. You set the amount of time you want the, the move to take. So we'll just go 20 seconds, we'll go 15, 14, all right, and then we hit play. And you'll see as this timeline reader bar moves across, it's adjusting focus and uh, direction and sliding all at the same time. Eric, this is amazing. I've never seen keyframe software that actually interfaces with hardware. Can you tell me like the concept where you guys decided that this was a good idea and, and a little bit about the development of it? Uh, yeah, our customers basically drove us to this point. They loved our Oracle system. They just wanted more control. And, uh, and they wanted to be, have, have an uh, easy user interface. Not device dependent. You'll be able to log in through, like a, serv uh, through a web browser. It's Wi-Fi, so you can just uh, connect wirelessly to it and operate it from any web browser. Is it purely software? Is there any hardware that's entailed in it beyond, uh, or is that a separate purchase, or how does that work? Yeah, you buy the different components. We have like focus motor, we have uh, pan tilt motors, or these turntables, what we're calling them, or these right angle drives also for our slider. So you just buy each piece that you need for whatever you're trying to set up for and uh, plug and play. As soon as you plug a motor in, it's going to come up. You name it, slider, you set the, uh, the boundaries of which it's, it safely can operate, and you just take it from there. And do you guys have a price point in mind yet? Uh, a four-axis rig like this would probably be somewhere between four and $5,000. Uh, when will this be available? Uh, we're hoping for July. All right, thanks so much, Eric. We appreciate it. HDSLR Shooter's coverage of NAB 2011 is brought to you by Lens Baby, Red Giant Software, Think Tank Photo, Blue Microphones, and Small HD.